while there has been no specific change to the user interface for the improvements to the tool axis for blade finishing other than the inclusion of the automatic verification tab which when enabled allows the automatic collision checking to be permitted the existing strategy has been improved to generate a toolpath with a much more improved tool axis orientation while being able to deal with a greater variety of component features such as steep and flat walls. The component shown on the screen has a PowerMill 2012 blade finishing strategy displayed. When this is compared against the PowerMill 2011 strategy with the same settings we see a comparable result. However, when we analyse these individual passes we will see there is indeed a difference on the tool axis vector which gives the improvement in the tool axis. I have selected a single pass from each of these tool paths for comparison. When I look at the Paramil 2011 tool pass, in top view I'll remove surfaces and enable the tool axis to be drawn we can see that while the radial vectors of the tool axes point towards the hub center in these regions in others the tool axis vector is clearly missing the radial when I compare this against the single pass from Paramil 2012 which is being created we can now see that when we turn on the tool axis vectors the radial vectors now indeed point much more towards the center of the hub. The improvements in the vectors are not just in the radial vectors we can also see this in the elevation angle. I'll go to the front view turn the component on we will see that in the PowerMill 2012 single pass when I turn on the tool at that point we can see that it is quite flat which is indicating that the tool axis now allows the diameter of the spherical tool to be cutting much more on the full diameter as we would wish. When this is compared against the Paramil 2011 toolpath we can see that the vectors are pointing much more up. I'll activate this and see. The tool here is now angled much much more up. By reverting back to the Paramil 2012 pass we will see that this is also seen especially around the leading edge and the trailing edge of the blade. This gives us less pronounced fanning at these key points on the blade. With the Paramil 2012 we will see this tall axis position but when we compare that against the 2011 tall axis position we will see the tool is much further away. This is now possible as in PowerMill 2012 the calculations for these tool axes now require less clearance between the tool and the component itself. An extra point that is worth considering when looking at individual passes on a blade finishing strategy is that if we are to take the final pass closest to the hub it may not necessarily be representative of the rest of the tool path. This is because the final pass closest to the hub has an increased instances of potential collisions occurring which will have an effect upon the final tool path position. Therefore, to ensure a safe toolpath that still accurately machines the component, some change does occur. 
there is one more additional improvement which PowerMill users will notice with this functionality in PowerMill 2012 to earlier versions. In earlier versions of PowerMill there is a requirement that the hub and shroud surfaces that once they come away and down must not allowed to be returned upwards in the Z height as this had a detrimental effect on the toolpath. No longer is it a concern for the PowerMill user when he creates his blade finishing toolpath. If the shroud or the hub do go up it no longer has a detrimental effect upon the toolpath.